Finding high ticket niches is one of the most important steps of building a profitable high ticket dropshipping business. So using this tool called the random word generator, we develop a strategy called the rabbit hole strategy where you can find unlimited products, unlimited niches, and you can go on and on and on and find literally untapped products all the time. So let me show you how. First of all, you're gonna need to pull up this handy dandy tool, my favorite tool called the random word generator. Then you're gonna pull up a notepad so we can write down some notes that we have gotten from Google. Then we're just gonna need handy dandy google.com. So then we're gonna do we're gonna use Google to do some of our research. Okay, so once we're on a random word generator, what we want to do is number of words just changes to five and then start clicking on generate random word. So any of these words can work, you don't know until you try it. So for example, some generic word like park, we can literally type in park and it's gonna show you like local locations. And then what you want to do is you want to click on shopping. And then here we go. So we want to filter about products over at least $1,000. And right off the bat, we just typed in park onto Google. And I know these pages aren't loading, but we have like these outdoor park like benches. We also have like park tools. So what we want to do right here, just open up a few of these websites that show up especially unique products that we typically don't see. So we usually want to skip Walmart, Amazon, just because they're really a marketplace, not really a retailer. So we just open up a few listings. So we have some like interesting products here, aqua, snow, ice world, inflatable. So every time I do this, I always find something that I've never even seen before or never even think of. Jurassic Park arcade game, super interesting. And, and we can just keep scrolling. Like there's so many products and you know, we can go back to a drawing board and generate more products, but this is literally our first try without even, you know, trying a different word. And once we find some products, we could take those products, put them back into Google, for example, park or like picnic tables, which are what these are picnic table we can put that back into google and then we can find even more related stores and then look on those stores for more related products so let's just look at some of the products that we read or other websites that we pulled up so we have gamingblaze.com which seems to be like a gaming store outdoor games they have quite a few brands resources games okay and then we have like metal garages metal barns commercial buildings also super interesting uh, this is target.com. This is like just inflatables. This is pool table combo sets. Um, this is just like a tool set. And then this is just like a picnic table. So this store looks really old, but honestly, from my experience, the old sites that look pretty crappy, they're actually secretly doing good revenue because of the fact that they probably have a retail location we just like Google their address. This is probably like their, yeah, they have a retail location. So don't sleep on stores that, you know, their site looks pretty bad. They're doing way more revenue than, you know, a lot of us here. They're probably doing five to 10 million, if not more per year. So using other websites, we can literally look at their category pages and see what they have for sale. For example, picnic tables we have they have quite a few categories so like grills tables benches bike racks bleachers bus stop shelters which is wow like honestly like every time i do this i always find something unique it never surprises me this random word generator finds me unique products and people come to me telling me they did random word generator and they're only finding saunas, massage chairs, power stations, you know, 
fireplaces, they're they're seeing the same niches over and over again. But like, I'm not even five minutes in, and I find something completely unique. Bus stop shelters. It's honestly quite amazing. So we type in like bus stop shelters. I really love this. Love these unique niches just because there's basically no competitors. You can see just like one or two stores selling these. So bus shelters. Let's look at some. Uh, stores that have these for sale so we have like guard booth okay so we have like a booth type store so I really like this angle booth type store you know guard booths um, security booths so we're just gonna put this down guard booths security booths bus stop shelters so we really only need three to four product types max to start a store because of the fact that guard booths if we look at just guard boots yeah, guard booths you, we can find all the related products like under this category so guard boosters for sale related would be guard shack guard house guard restroom security booth so just because you only have like one or two product types on your store so far it doesn't mean you need to add more because you can keep expanding on your current one before you you know jump on to another one so guard boost online that would be essentially a competitor that we can you know look at later down the line competitor and honestly I really don't need to check the competition there's hardly any competition just looking at it but you know you, you can just scroll through there's basically virtually no competition the demand which is uh, good to know but like honestly I really don't even look at demand anymore just because like if there's products being manufactured there's demand and I don't really care about the search volume watch my video on why search volume is BS because that's what I still stand by today search volume hardly even matters so that's why I don't even look at search volume if I just showed you how I would build a store like I found a niche I really like this angle I'm gonna just finalize with a domain name I don't really need to check competitors seasonality I'll just check real quick but I really doubt it. it's like you just need to use common sense for this stuff common sense is like your best thing in this business bush stop or the main product type is like probably guard boost so guard boost yeah definitely not seasonal uh, we can use like a tool real quick to just set, see how much demand because I'm just curious so guard below, like has about 600 which is uh, not a ton but more than enough like bus let's see this will load the guard boost there's virtually zero competition so because there is quite a few boosts, different types of boosts, you can uh, like look at the search volume, but for me, I don't really even look at it. There's plenty of product types, there's stores already existing, there's people selling the industry, I don't really care about the demand, I'm jumping into it ASAP. Just take up market share, start SEO ASAP, and then start generating revenue with the store. So it's definitely not seasonal. Um, so checks all the boxes that you know most people like to do but honestly I really I only have the boxes there just because people like check like check boxes or like checklists but this is how I pick a niche really fast uncompetitive not saturated virtually zero competition yeah so let's just finalize with a domain name and we'll just wrap it up so name cheap for a domain name and guard something like boost my boost direct something like this okay it's available I don't know why it's in euros but it's definitely available someone watching this video early could take this domain so we'll see in a couple of years is like someone actually built a store because literally I have it all verified like typically this is reserved for people inside the high ticket econ launch pad but usually you saw how I picked a niche completely from scratch using the random word generator it's that powerful there's so many products out there don't think high ticket dropshipping is saturated because it will never ever be that's it for this video i hope you guys took away value 
and until next time.